world <coughs> hello twitch hello well youtube when you watch that in youtube so today uh, oh let me put some music right why not why not let me put some music for us. Epic epic sound. Um okay, so let's let's do this today. Hmm? Yeah. So today today <coughs> we're gonna continue work with the display part um, I did some uh, research on how to do that so I think today we will gonna show something in the screen finally and for doing that I would like to show that in the original colors of Game Boy so <coughs> But let's let's go one by one. So uh, first of all, there is no new comments uh, here. So at least not till now. Uh, so we're gonna directly to our code and if you have any problem with sound if anybody has problem with sound please let me know because who knows that day I did one entire stream with problem in the song. So let's go. So yesterday we printed the all the tile set, and we found that there is only one tile in that tile set. Again, because we are only uh, dealing with the boot room, boot room boot wrong yet so that's the reason that we still have um, only one tile but that doesn't mean that we cannot show that the tile so we're gonna show that so yesterday we also created two uh, nice um, function one forget the, the tiles the BG the background tile set and another forget a tile but I think this get uh, I was looking at this later and I think this is wrong because I think this is okay so I think this is wrong because it is not getting the entire tile set but well first of all let me do this uh, we know that the LCDC is an important register but we also have this BGP let me remember you what is BGP the BGP is uh, the register in the memory so it's like a PPU register uh, responsible for telling us which are the color I mean it, it's the palette actually so besides we have only four shades of, of, of blue in one game we can use only two or only one or so and changing that uh, makes the game even more if 
uh, provides the power to the, the game developer to change the the, the tile uh, changing only the colors so one tile can be two different uh, uh, images because we have only one uh, because we change the color so it could be two different images or any or more even more so uh, we need to see that one first I think we already saw that but let me do something here so I will uh, create this get BGP and which will just return the FF47 which is the BGP address as we are still dumping everything here so why we are dumping I mean we are panicking here and doing our dumpings here because this E8 is the is the address that we are getting stuck here because we are just looping into this a lot of time because the the logo from the cartridge do not match with the logo from the DMG from the boot room which we have why because we don't have a cartridge actually so this address is empty so that's never match and that's because we are still just working with the boot room just to get everything in place and then puts a, a real room and then start from there so that's why we are doing this panic here so let me just uh, put here pgp palette which will be i will want to see this in binary format so ppu get bgp and peasant okay so i remove those tiles yeah so here it is as you can see this first palette has only one color I mean only two colors sorry uh, two colors so black basically black and white so from here we ha we have this this table so if the we will follow this emulator to color as well uh, so if the color is but instead of these colors, we will put those colors. Okay. So this, uh, if zero, if it's zero zero, then it is white. If it's uh, one one, which is three, it's black. So uh, we can see here that we have only black and white, right? So black and white in a Game Boy. Uh, word is darkest green and lightest green right so to avoid uh, gray we are working with green just to, to be that so I wa uh, and also now getting back to our where we will gonna show that in our library uh, rust mini FB right that we already imported yesterday when we are showing already so uh, we have here uh, we we use uh, it uses a 32 bit pixel buffer as I said yesterday so so my cat so uh, how this works how it, this is this way it's uh, it's RGBA so let me put it somewhere here so basically I will put here so basically it, the value is something like this so basically the value is so one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8. So 32 bits. Each hexadecimal is uh, uh, 4 bits. So we have 32 bits here. So the first two bits are the that that's my cat. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> so um, the first two bits, the first two, the first byte is the alpha. So we don't touch it. So the other three are the RGB, so red, green, and blue. As we already have these colors here, we can create something like a constant. Let's create that inside PP. So I will do just something like this. Pub const. Is that something? So darkest green. It is an U32 and it will be 0 F F as we said because that and then we will just copy this to here uh, this so this is our darkest green uh, let put four others so dark green which is this and we have light green which is this And then we have our uh, lightest green, which is kind of uh, our white color. Okay, so then, then we have so now we have our palette. So now that that's the case. So our color zero will be the lightest green. Our color one will be the light green. Our color two will be the dark green and our color three will be our darkest green okay so also we can start our screen we are starting our screen with black because it's all zero here right I think I will increment the font size here Now it's better. Yeah. So uh, instead of uh, initiating our screen with black, because our screen is black, right? So let me. We removed the, this, uh, but let me put it back. Uh, what's that? Yeah. So. So we have our our if we see our screen is black, right? But we don't want that black. What we want, we want that to be green. Right? Well, we want our screen to be green. So 
I will put it here. I will use PPU dot uh, darkest green. I think that we're gonna have no. no. Oh, that's not, that's not, that's uh, not. Hmm, here. Okay, so I can use the darkest green now. Okay, so then we have uh, our screen will be something like this. Okay, black. We can put also off our lightest. I think it it's better to be our to be lightest green instead of darkest. As our yeah, so that's it. Yeah. Hey, then I decided to try make a Mega Drive emulator, but M M eight M sixty eight will take me too much time to understand. As I haven't had enough bare metal experience for a long time, so I decided to start with Z eighty. We've seen C I will need anyway for. Since I will need it anyway for sound. Yeah, Z8 is... The instruction set is... It's... I mean, similar to... Game Boy. If you see, actually Game Boy has a lot of uh, Z8. Z8 and Game Boy... Uh, Upcodes. Yeah, there is a No, There is a bunch of... Uh, actually, let's, let me go here. Uh, there is a bunch of uh, oh, glossary for help. Let's see, Z A. No, I think in that the other one has here. There is a bunch of uh, instructions. No, it's not here as well. Anyway, it's overlapping some of those instructions. In that talk, again, our famous Game Boy talk, it it shows us that is overlapping here. So as you can see, uh, this the, the green one is the Z8, and the Purple one is the LR35902, which is the uh, which is the core for 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 Game Boy. So if you see, I think my my video is is kind of dark today. Let's see if I can configure that brightness. If it's brightness or here exposure, no, that's out. So yeah, I will put some bright. So uh, yeah, this is the. So if you are implementing the Z8 emulator. I think we will have a lot of in common. We will you stream in that as well? That will be awesome. So getting back here. Oh let me here. Our background is green at least. So now okay. But we don't want a, a, a plain green background, right? We want something better. 
So we are uh, we are at saw that So we are at saw the the BGP uh, pallet. So we are in at this moment we will only have two colors. Okay. So talking about that, let's try to transform yeah, because we have the tile, so let me get there. We already have, so this tile set, I think this should be changed later, but let, let's get back to the tile. So we already have our tile, which is 16-bit, uh, no, 8-bit, 16-bytes uh, array, right? And why? Is that it's because uh, it it is a uh, it's an eight by eight by two bits. Remember that that uh, let me open it here. Okay. this so this is our tail tile not confident enough maybe when I have enough background to cover m 68 k emulation properly well about confident to, to are you saying that you are not confident to streaming because I'm not confident too I, I mean I I don't know rust I don't know about emulation and this is my very first. What I'm saying is that I, what I can say to you is that first, for me, it's like a hobby. I, I really like to learn new stuff in programming. And having this like streaming time is like reser uh, res reserving a time for me to learn. And this is one point. Second is. Uh, this is a time, I mean, that everybody else in the house, in my house, my wife, my, my, my daughter, they know that that is reserved for me. So I'm streaming and then that, that's it. So I have my time reserved. Uh, three, exposing myself here with, with you guys, with you folks, uh, makes me more, uh, motivated to finish the project because you know I'm we, we are in the episode number 13 so we are already I already create some uh, expectations I mean at least for one two three or doesn't matter so I have like I need to finish this project not only for me now so that makes me finish this project so I think that's a good idea I mean, I really recommend for anyone doing side projects to streaming this development uh, because it's uh, it make you finish. It makes you go further. It in the in and more than that, it makes you learn because I'm learning a lot from you, from from a lot of people here, and and as as some questions appears during the stream off screen. I research on research on that, so that makes me learning more and more. So yeah, I really recommend you to stream that, and because that will make you more motivated. I mean, uh, if you have this problem with motivation, I I had. I mean, I have. I, I initiate a lot of side projects before, a lot, but just a few of them I could finish. And this is a very big one. I mean, I think that creating any kind of emulation is a big project. So you need to be very motivated to do that. 
So getting back again to our tile set. So this is one tile. So this is 8 by 8 pixels. But it's represented by like one line is the pair of bits for two bytes. So I have one byte here and another byte here. And combinating those two makes one pixel. So I need to read one byte from the tile, read another byte from the tile, uh, and grab the first bits from one from one line, from one byte, the second bit from the, the the first bit from another byte, and make the pair here. So this is one, one then match this one with the BGP palette which will give me the color of that pixel so so this is this is our uh, task so let's let's do that so we need to read the tile then read the f uh, first byte the first part of the first line read the second part of the for the second line match the bit pairs compare those pairs against the bgp palette and then get grab the color and then put that in our mini F uh, uh, fb um, mini fb uh, from her, from buffer so yeah our mini fb buffer Okay, so let's do something. Let's so get tile. So let's create one one function here, like pub function. Transform tile to like min fb tile. Let's call min fb tile the uh, a tile that has, I mean, an, a square. I mean, a, yeah, a, a set of eight by eight pixels. Okay, so. It's a square with 8 by 8 pixels. And those pixels should be represented in the way that MinFB knows, which is our darkest and those four colors. Okay, so let let's move on. Let's let's do that. Let's let's see. So what we need to do this like self we will probably need the memory. Don't need to be mutable. And the tile, which we'll get from here. So the tile will be an U816. Okay. Well, that should trans. What's that? Uh, but that that should return something. It's 8 by 8, so it's U32, yeah, because each byte, sorry, each byte, each pixel, pixel in the mini FB buffer, uh, occupes, uh, uses 32 bits, like we are at saw. So this, this is 32 number, right? So our mini FB will be a, an array of 32. So as it is eight by eight, it's 64. But I could do that with a bidimensional array, 
like your line line and column so it should be something like this uh, u32 8 and 8 of those so 8 uh, arrays of yeah because it's each align yeah that's good what's that ah, okay must have a body uh, I know ah, and this should be this What's the problem here? Ah, okay, it's because we are not doing. We are not uh, returning. We are returning nothing. Yeah. So let's return something. Um, no, let's 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 work. So let's create our let mutable mean fb. So this will be our output. Okay. So this is the type, and I will put all zeros here. So eight zeros and. Is that okay? What's the problem? What is the problem here? Oh. don't we forgot this okay so now we have this and if we do this mean fp tile we return and then then no problem okay it should not be multiple okay, let's do that, that that will be multiple in the future but let's that's that so <sighs> now we have what we have our tile this tile it's uh, 16 bytes and why yeah because we have uh, like eight lines of two bytes so 16 bytes right uh, of course that this is uh, the the first tile is is just an ar array so it's like flat uh, which will be would be better well let me see so let me this. Let let's iterate over our tile. So zero to tile len like you said yesterday. Step by two and why? Why stepping by two? Because the length of because we are getting So let me do this for in for 
I in tile land or zero tile land. Okay, let's just print. Dial each pixel actually. So we will be printing our pixel here. Okay. So this should be a binary. Yeah, let's put this. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, before doing that, let's back to here. Let's put back our debug here and as we can see here, uh, the bytes in our tile set in the in in the memory <coughs> are in pairs so this byte and these bytes are one uh, following the order so one byte means one line and these are the first two bytes these are the second byte second two bytes and so on so we have two bytes which means one line of pixels then we have uh, more two bytes which is the another line of of uh, pixels and so on so so we need to get not one line but two bytes so we need to get this and this in each inter in, in iteration why because we will be dealing with each one of those bits so we need to go yeah I was right so we actually need to to do step by two and why that uh, Why? Uh, because uh, here I do this. Uh, it will be first byte line and the second byte line will be plus one. So that 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 is the how it gonna be. Uh, yeah so that that is so if we do if we show that after each so after each tile so let grab this let tile equals to So then, after each tile, I will do I will do this. Uh, PPU transform, and I will do. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Museum, for the following, Museum. Oh, I follow your your channel. You do a lot of uh, Rust stuff there. Thank you for the following. I appreciate that. That's an honor, actually, <laughs> because you are from in, in Twitch much more time than me. Thank you for that. So here, uh, what I will be doing, and oh, I, I just saw that you are auto hosting me. So even more thank yous. Thank you for you. 
So uh, here I will pass this and then the tile. Okay, uh, this sh okay. So this should print our bits for these two bit two bytes in every one. I don't know if that will. I think I forgot to put, yeah. Second, but oh, this is will be doing for each byte. Yeah, each byte. Yeah. So let me do this and okay. So. Uh, so what I think I think let me just grab this oops Let me just uh, uh, get the the address for that for that only one tile. So this is the address. So I will do put something like if just to not uh, have a, if so our zero eight plus i. Equals so if that is true, then we will do this. Okay, that is good. okay. We don't need this double parentheses. Okay, then we don't need this anymore. Let me just this out okay so then uh okay 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 zero 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 the tiles that are zero we don't need to okay so here here we are we have of course we have only one line oh let me do something else here I will do this oh in in rust we can format our our output with leading zeros so I, I'm leading with zero and eight zeros and then the binary code so if the binary is zero like here it will be zero 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 eight eight zeros then we'll be able to compare here so yeah okay So yeah, our first byte, our first uh, pair is zero zero. So let me let me do something here. Instead of printing everyone, I will just print. I will just print our three trees. Okay. Which is the address where I could put in the hexadecimal here, but I will put that small here. No problem. So why why uh, why I'm doing that? Just to avoid. So now we will be printing only the only one. A tile that we have in our tile set. So here, zero 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 one zero. So two. 
as we are having no uh, it always zero in the second line in the second line of pick uh, by the second byte of one line we it will be only zero or two right so zero the byte zero so the color will be when the byte is zero zero the color will be uh, zero the color will be our uh, white our li uh, lightest green and when it is one here it will be our darkest green because it's always uh, black and white okay so now we have an away uh, we need to actually get that that uh, those bytes those bits actually so how we could do that uh, so first of all this is the first part this is the second part so let me do this so let uh, pixel part one equals to tile I and okay so now we have a variable where one byte and one so now we need to go for each byte for each bit and get those pairs so we can do something like this uh, so for zero to eight let's call this j so it is uh, eight eight bits right so it's a byte we can do this uh we can do uh So now we can do this. We need to get the bit. So let bit on part one equals to pixel part. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So now So for getting for getting I mean for if we do this like one two three four one two three four so if we do this we get our first bit so we need to do this and we, we need to like be rotating this bit accordingly with our J. So I think I can do this like one J. Right? So now uh, it's different from zero. This way we will know if this is True or false? Okay, so now, now we have our two bits. This way we have this pair, right? We have the bit of the first part, and we have the bit for the second part. Now we need to. get this an, as an part right yeah so this is a bit part let's like a uh, pair so the pair is well now it's a problem how to join those two bits uh, well it's I think it's so bit bit one, I will just move it 
like this. And then bit part. And then make an R. Because when I move this one bit, when I move oh I need to okay. I need to transform because this is an a boolean. I need to transform this boolean. And I think I need to do this. Oh uh, and this should be as U8 as well. Yeah, when we do this bit part one as U8, we are transforming this boolean into an U8 which will be one or zero if it's true or false. Okay, now we have our pair. Great, that's great. We are we have our pair. So we now for this line we have our pair. What we need to do now? So I think we need to transform. Oh. This bit, this pair into BGP palette because as as you see this is zero and one it's not the color it itself it's a palette as we said it's an index of the palette so we need to transform this pair into the palette and then that palette needs to be transformed into a mini FB mini RFB color yeah so then transform into mini FB color type yeah so how we could do that well let's create another function here so I have a pair right so let's do pub function transform pair into BG, BGP palette. Okay. So how we can transform this BGP palette? This should be self. We need to get the pixel pair as an U8. Then we need to get the BGP. So let BGP palette equals self get BGP. Oh, I need to pass the memory. So let me put the memory here. I need to receive the memory as well. So now I have this. So I will probably do a match pixel pair and so if the bit is zero zero. If the bit is zero zero, okay. If the bit is zero zero, then it get okay. It gets the first two bits of BGP palette. Oh, okay, so we we'll have BGP palette. How we get the first two bits? Zero B zero 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 zero. Zero, zero. Oh, sorry. So one, one, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah. So this way we get. So let me. So one, 
two, three, and let's put this as, as it is an U8. Okay. What's the problem? Expected found U8. What's that? Wait. What is the problem? So z B zero zero. Oh wait, 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 I think I know. Yeah, I'm returning this to where? I need to return it to this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I don't need this. But this is wrong. I don't, it's not this two, but this two and I need to move this two to yeah. so let me copy this and copy this here so here I will put those two bits those two mask bits here and for and here well, why is that and this will be here right I heard something. No. Okay. So now, now, um, now we have this function will return us, return to us the actual value in the BGP palette, which will be zero, one, or three. So from here. Okay, and then we can also create another because we will probably need that so transform from BGP to mini FB color because we need to do this to, to do the, uh, the color right so self and BGP uh, BGP uh, BGP color BGP palette it's an U8 Okay, and that will return an U32 because U32 is the size of the bit mini bit. So it should be a match directly. That should be palette. That is much easier. So if it is zero zero, I will return zero zero. It's white. Right, so you return lightest green. If it is uh, zero one, I will return uh, light green. If it is two, so zero one two. Why I'm putting this in binary? I don't know because is coming from binary I want to see that in binary yeah uh, this is dark green and then the darkest green <laughs> so basically we will have a what is the problem here oh it's not as a in exhaustive okay I will do this and I will return light the screen in any case and else 
Okay, so we have now a, 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 a function, a method to transform that pair that we have in BGP. If we have that, that's perfect. I think I can remove those. So now I then can do this like let BGP. equals to self transform pair into bgp i will pass mmo and oh it's called pair now this has the palette right and now i can get min fb color And I get this. Great. So at this time we have a mini FB color. And here it's for each pixel. Again, we are iterating over a line. We get a tile from the We get this tile. Then in oh, this is actually now ah now I know this tile yeah. So first this I we get the first byte of the tile, which is one line. Then we get the second byte of the tile, which is another line. That's okay. Okay, so now we need to put those colors into a 8 by 8 matrix. How we can do that? So yeah, this, this should be like here. So we have two index here and we put the color here right so if we put i and j i oh i think is i divided by two because we are Two and two, right? I think that is true. What's the problem? Oh, it's not mutable. Hmm. I think we have our tile. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we can then test this tile. How we can test that? Well, here I will not test here anymore. Because this self PC. What's that? Let me change the music because this is not music. This is a noise. Let's put some our my favorite soundtrack. So. So now I, I will not put anything here. So I will not. I would let it it in loop. I will put something here. So we are running. So if PPU is enabled.
I want to wait I want to get I want to get that same tile okay. so here we have the tile with the problem with the problem with the with with the with something that we want to that we I think that is that R that trademark for the Nintendo logo so and then I will get Now we have this. So now we need to put it in the screen variable and then update ver uh, the buffer. So how we will be doing this? Okay, so let's because we have oh we we have that yeah. So it's a two yeah. So for I in zero zero eight for J in zero zero eight. I think that's so I is the line as we put before and J is the color. J is the bit. J is the pixel itself. So we can put like screen Y. Oh, the screen is not too size. But if we are in the first line, I. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. This. Uh, the the line contains 160 bits. Uh, sorry, pixels. So I means one line. So I equals two means the that 160 byte a uh, pixels are at pass it. So we can put something like this. Y tau times a sorry width and then yeah we because then the j will be one by one plus j equals two mean so mean f b tile the line and the column Uh oh let's see if we finally we will have something nothing that's disappointing well, oh maybe maybe we are too far let's put uh, like um Offset here, just true. No, still nothing. Bum, 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 bum. So let me print the content. Print LN. Number seems to be always equal.
This is not right. So let me. Is this tile correct? Is this the tile that we want to show to the public? Yeah. So this is the right tile. So let's debug. <laughs> That could not be so easy, right? So let's see. So, yeah, we already printed this. So let me print. So yeah, we are. Yeah, true, false, true. Yeah, zero, zero, one, one. It seems correct. Let's see. Print. There. There. Let's see, one minute. Uh, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what's happening. Print away. Oh. What happens with this pair? So yeah, or it is zero or okay, so that's that's fine. PGP Let's see if the BGP palette is being correctly calculated. Oh here we have a problem. That's great. Oh, let's see what's what's the problem. Here. Print ON. So this is the real palette from inside. Let me. Okay. So why it's returning all zeros here? Oh. 
otherwise it will just move the, the bits yeah I want to move the result of this end yeah. this is the problem I think so Wow! See! 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 Ah! We have our R in the screen! Yes! RC? I don't know if we can s you can see that. It's the R. Let me... Yeah, I don't know if you can. Is there a way here to meet you? Maybe then this? No. How can I increase the size? Well, that's an R, but the problem here is the R is in the reverse way. Well, anyway, it's not in the right place because we are just reading directly from the tile set and not from the tile map. Remember that we have a place that are all the tiles which is the tile set but we have another tile map that says exactly where it should be placed in the screen actually in the 200 by 200 uh, 256 by 256 but this is a great we already have our screen working at least transforming that thank you thank you Konyo. yeah gg What GG means? Some gr good luck? No. Good, good, good something. But I know that's uh, in the gaming. So, but I know that's good. Thank you for the GG. So, now we need to put that. We need to check that in our. In our tile map. Okay. Yeah, because we have the tile map. So the tile map is also decided by LCDC flag. Oh yeah, I was thinking about fixing this this tile set. And the tile set is 260. So the tile set is 264 256 And Oh, here we are using. Yeah. So we need to get the self get tile. Yeah, this get tile is already returning us uh, 16 bytes. Yeah, so actually our well before I did this as a 4k but this is actually 
you can just capture the window separate through a window capture and the large oh great then i will do that now well let me just thank you then uh let me do that yeah so i will do get window capture and answers oh no that's not the window that I want to what's the name of this window test I don't know why it get this. It's got this something wrong here. Let me check. Properties. And I I think it's something to do with the mini i mini fb or something but anyway are seeing here we have our r in the screen that's another option as well window One. magnifier Oh, what's that? What is that? It is. Never work it with this magnifier. How to turn it off? Uh, let's see if game capture works. Oh, I just realized that I closed it. So let's see if game capture. Yeah, I noted that the R is inverted. Well, where is that? <coughs> um. No. Capturing... Game capture didn't work. But I think the... The window capture to the job. <sighs> Let me see if properties. No. Uh, resize. Transform. Oh, here. The size should be 100. 144. Let's let's work with this. So 
we have this R, which Dr. 8 bits set to crop right on the element go to filters and crop filter. Filter. The crop. Okay, and then. Zero, but no, no. right is eight. Oh, yeah, great! Thank you, thank you. Then now we have our screen. Yeah. So here we have our game so yeah our r is inverted but before fixing that inverted because i think that's in because of the logic i will put the, the r in the right place because now we are just uh throwing the r somewhere in the screen here right so if you see here it, it is just if i put this this offset if i don't put this offset And we and we run. It will be there because I'm not putting any offset. But that's not that's not the, the right place. So I will need to read from the tile map to see exactly where this tile should be placed. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, so I was doing a, a fix here in the get tile. Here, so I want to to get the tile set. But the tile set will be a uh, Uh, 206 because it's that a matrix of uh, U16 uh, actually 16 bytes okay because this returns what's the problem? Is this oh yeah actually it's because we have two parameters so here we are still fixing our starting on so we are still do doing with from here to here. This is we are doing uh, hard coded because we need to check the LCDC. But let's still doing that. And then again we need the offset of Y because we get 16 bits and then go to the next line. And that's why we need to increment our initial value by the line times 16 bytes and why it's wrong here u6 okay so what's the problem we have m um, uh, what's the problem here oh
What's the problem here? Oh. That's what it is. Oh, the tile set is wrong. We are returning the right value here, the right type, but this variable is not the right type. This is the problem. Now let's initialize it with zero. And now what's the problem? Yeah. So now we have a, a function to get the tile set. Uh, I want to have a function to get the tile map. The tile map is also from LCDC. Or it is here or it is here. Uh, let me see the LCDC. Yeah. Yeah, just to clarify more, one more time, we are showing here, we are showing here, is directly from our tile map, tile set. So, it, of course, this is only one tile, but if there is all, a bunch of tiles, it will be like a tile set, like. Like this. Here, this is a tile set. Oops, the Game Boy is in front of it. So this is a, a complete tile set for Mario Land. But in our case, we have only one tile. But we don't want to show all. We don't. We want to show the actual, the the in the right place, not the tile set, right? We want to show this in the exactly place that it should be. And how we do that? We need to take the tile uh, tile map. The tile map. Why I have two dash bar? Oops! 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 I close it. The wrong. I close it, the one that has the music. So let's put some electronic. Yeah. So we have, we now need to, to get the tile set. And the tile map come from here, house. Oh no, this is the state here from this. So uh, let me close this and let me. Uh, we are printing the tile here, but I don't need to print. So let me add LCD. See? LCDC. And. Oh God. So, <laughs> so 
So our our uh, uh, whoops. Our LCDC is one zero zero one zero zero zero. So we already saw that we are using BG zero zero. So we are not using Sprite. And the tile map, which is the bit three, zero one two three, is zero. And zero means nine eight. So we are using from nine eight to nine BFF. Right? So we have this and this. Okay. So again, I will. get that I will create another function here that calls up function get bg I will just call this tile set get tile set and this will be get tile map it will receive self and new but now I'm not sure voltage here. Uh, I'm back online. Let's see if I if I, uh, we are still there. Yeah, everything went down. Uh, zero zero viewers. Uh, everybody left. Or not, I don't know. Well, I'm back here. Uh, let's just focus this camera on me. Yeah, yeah. So actually, I need to stop because I have this problem. Um, so let me just um, wrap up what we did so far. Uh, sorry about this problem. Sorry, I really sorry about that. Uh, hopefully, I didn't lost the video. I think I, I didn't lost. It's there. So. Um, I had this problem, this power outage problem, but everything is fine now. So what I'm sa I wa what I was saying is that we have this get bg tile set, and now we need to have a get Uh, I get a BG tile tile map tile map. Yeah. So I need these tile maps, which is thirty two rows of thirty two bytes, and uh, each byte contains a number of a tile to be displayed. That's great. So. <coughs> Uh, and also we decided to get this so let's oh, so yeah so yeah we will start doing this uh, I think I will stop for tonight today uh, just remember you we uh, we already have this uh, this gaming being printed in the screen so sorry about this technical uh, issue, uh, but anyway, tomorrow we will continue continue with the display. We will get the tile set in the right position. So we will get the tile map and positioning the 
dial in the right position and we will then we will be moving to a uh, actual ROM which I have a uh, 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 the Tetris so I will be using the Tetris game to us to be able to see the Nintendo logo and everything else okay so thank you everybody for watching sorry about that see you tomorrow thank you